Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa with the Pet Butler team and welcome to our wellness series, Holiday Edition 2018. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to keep your pet safe. Uh, have a really happy, fun holiday um, for all the family members, including our four-legged family members too. So the first thing we need to be concerned about are all the tree trimmings, the poinsettias, the mistletoe, the holly, all our wonderful decorations that make our houses look so festive are actually dangerous to pets. Um, some people are recommending now we even get rid of the live stuff and put in the fake greenery um, to avoid some toxic episodes with mistletoe, holly, and the poinsettia chewing. Um, trees can be dangerous because of the, not only chewing on the needles, but also the water that we have that our live trees sit in can be full of bacteria as they sit there um, for days on end. Not only do we need to be concerned about the live greenery that we decorate our homes with, but we really need to be concerned about the things that we decorate our tree with. So even if you've gone ahead and purchased a fake tree this year, we want to be concerned about the ornaments, the tinsel, and especially the electrical cords that we decorate with. Um, dogs don't know the difference between a chew toy that's appropriate and something that we're using for holiday decorations that can be extremely dangerous. Not only can they um, have electrical issues damaged by chewing on the cords, but fires can start in the home. We also worry about fires starting with candles that are lit and our table height. Not only um, do dogs intentionally sniff out the candles where they can experience burns or um, you know, even wax burns, but we worry about them knocking, unintentionally knocking candles over with their tails when they're happy to see their guests um, and causing a fire in the home. So that's a big issue as well. The, probably the biggest issue that we see around the holidays and safety wise uh, that we need to watch out for are all the wonderful foods, especially appetizers that we're snacking on throughout the day. And oftentimes our minds are just blown with all the presents, the commotion, the guests, um, all the things that we've got to do around the home that we forget what our pets are up to and what our guests may be feeding our pets. So things like cheeses, um, anything real fatty can cause gastrointestinal upset in our pets. Um, things like macadamia nuts, anything with garlic or grapes or raisins, certainly chocolate. And when we talk about grapes and raisins, um, wine falls in that same category since they're made from grapes. The last thing that I want to mention is because we've got you know the doorbell ringing and Amazon packages being delivered and grandma's coming and the doors open and we're greeting and we may not be watching our pets um, as closely as they're making a quick escape. So some people will put baby gates across the threshold or if you hear the doorbell ring, just get in the habit of putting your pet into a crate or into a laundry room somewhere safe where they can't make a quick escape. So enjoy your holiday season and I look forward to seeing you in 2019. Be safe, have fun, and give all your pets a big hug from me.